Howdy guys and gals, I'm the Social Regressive, Kyle Broderick, and we are here to swap a stock. Uh, this belongs to Billy here. This is a Remington 770 in 300 Win Mag. Uh, so it's long action, and we are going to be swapping this over to the Boyd's Heritage right here. And uh, just, just take a look at it, guys. This thing is beautiful. I mean, what do you think of it so far? Uh, it's extremely comfortable and absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I love the way this came out. This is all just straight from the Boyd's factory. Uh, they will do all this, including the checkering, the little fleur-de-lis right through here, up into the uh, the grip and into the, the forearm. This walnut tip and walnut grip cap, again, that's all from the factory. Limb saver butt pad. And yeah, we're, since he's gonna be shooting a lightweight gun, 300 Win Mag, I think you're gonna love that butt pad. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap it in, and this one isn't completely straightforward. This isn't just the usual swap two bolts and pop it in. This does have a magazine system, and uh, since there are some variances in length, I think, between some of the magazines that you can get, uh, there are some extra little parts we'll need to swap out. There is a special trigger guard. So we're gonna get in here and drop the action in, and hopefully it's a pretty quick uh, changeover. We haven't done this one before. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, we have the action dropped free from the stock. Watch that piece that falls out. Oh, is that the recoil lug? Uh, yes. Yeah, it fell out of there. There's the, <laughs> the mobile <laughs> recoil lug right there. <laughs> This piece we don't actually need from this current plastic stock. Uh, there's a new one that's built into the Heritage, and let me show you that. Okay, so this comes with a nice stainless one right here. Yeah, that's gonna be really nice for weatherproofing, and it, maybe, not, maybe this one won't fall out like the other when you take the, uh, the action out. Since this is a little bit of a different firearm, it comes with special instructions just for the 770. I don't recall anything like this coming for the Axis or anything like that. And it also comes with some special parts. The trigger guard is actually part of the original 770 plastic stock, and it can't come along with it. So they did include this one. This is plastic as well. You might see if somebody has a metal upgrade for this. I did not see one out on Boyd's. Uh, website, but somebody else might make one of these. So uh, check, ar check, check around, see if you can find one. We need to remove the mag catch from the original stock. We're gonna find out how that works right here. It's probably just a matter of prying. It's the spring. The end of it is digging down into the plastic. So Billy is prying it up with a screwdriver. This thing's gonna shoot straight across the garage. And there you have it. The mag catch goes in next. And then once it's in place, we have a special little clip that we need to push in from the top. Hmm, like a glove. That was easy. Very easy. Locks right in. Drops right out. Well, it's going to be solid. No, no rattling around. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. Light sanding may be required. <laughs> When you put the action in, make sure that that lug, the recoil lug, is seated properly. You should be able to feel it. The screw doesn't feel like it's reaching. Mm. Turns out we had to do a little bit of carving. 
I wasn't expecting to have to bust out the uh, universal gunsmith tool. <laughs> But there's a little bit of extra wood right behind that recoil lug and it's keeping everything from mating up nicely. So we have to trim some of that away. So I'm cranking the uh, torque wrench up to 35 inch pounds due to the specs um, saying to put the tech down screws to 30 to 35. Okay. And the wrench that we're using is the Weaver torque wrench. There you go. <laughs> And this gets up to, I think, 80 inch pounds. Yeah. Or excuse me, pound inches. <laughs> the Dremel work fixed the problem. We have the screws torqued down properly. We had another little issue with a, a kind of an anchor at the back of the action that uh, kind of pulled free. So we had to epoxy that. This one's in kind of loose for now. Once it actually dries, we'll be able to snug it down. And next we're going to work on the trigger guard right here, which should be easy enough. Just a couple wood screws. Don't over tighten it. <laughs> did it snap the plastic? Yeah, you cracked the plastic, but it's okay. That's what mine did. All it's got to do is cover that trigger. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. It feels good. It's got good balance. It's not too front heavy. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Here, uh, try to find the balance point. I want to see. Right about where that that dot is. Okay, so that dot is the balance point, guys. That's pretty much exactly <laughs> what you want. Right at the front of the action. That's perfect. And okay, the cheek piece that you see there, that's the, uh, if, you, if you see a stock that's labeled Monte Carlo, that's what they're talking about. This little guy right here is gonna be great for your Magnums. Because uh, the way that this is designed, if it's properly done, it's gonna get you a little bit of extra comb height and it's gonna cradle your whole side of your face rather than just one specific point. And then this is built to be extra wide back here and a little narrower at the front so that when it recoils and your face comes forward, you're not smacked by anything. The rifle basically clears itself away from your face. So tell me how that feels on the cheek. It is perfect. Yeah, how much, oh, yeah. How much of your cheek do you think is touching right now? Most of it. <laughs> Almost the whole, the whole side of the face right here is, is snug against it. It's perfect. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she's a, she's an heirloom rifle now. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.